Good morning, Regis Jesuit. I'm Kylie. And I'm Maddie. And, and this, this is RJTV. RJ On this week's Top 5, NASA launched a weather satellite in space yesterday. In international news, North Korea has been found sending materials for chemical weapons to Syria. We have a warm weekend coming up with mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the 60s. Tomorrow is a SoCo Shindig, benefiting Special Olympics Colorado. You can still get tickets today at lunch or even at the door. Don't forget to get your tickets for the father-daughter dance. Come and support your girls' basketball team today at the Denver Coliseum at 4 o'clock for their quarterfinal game. In the national news this week, America continues to mourn the loss of the 17 victims of the Stoneman Douglas High School shooting in Parkland, Florida. Conversations about where we go from here continue. RJTV reporters Kate Phillips, Michael Manugian, and Caroline Sorrow have more. Fire uh, about an hour and a half ago at a high school just outside of Denver in Littleton, Colorado. Chaos at Arapahoe High School on December 13th. We are in Parkland, Florida, where yesterday's terror has faded into horror and anger and loss. There have been 50 mass murders or attempted mass murders at school since Columbine, some right here in our own backyard. This happens, we forget about it, it happens again. But this time things feel different. Since the Stoneman Douglas shooting, students, teachers, faith leaders, and lawmakers from both parties are having conversations and taking action. While not everyone agrees on exactly what to do, one thing's for sure, this time we must do something. And this time student voices are moving the conversation forward and not letting up. The president has already talked about common sense gun regulation, stricter background checks, and raging the age limit for gun purchases. Major retailers are taking bold steps on the sales of assault weapons. State legislators are introducing new bills addressing gun regulation, mental health, and school safety and security. Students are holding walkouts to raise awareness and keep the conversation moving. Major colleges and universities are making it clear they support student walkouts and won't hold that against anyone who applies to attend their college. This time, it's different. This time, voices are being heard. The conversation will keep going. And we are already seeing action. This is an educational issue now. This is about our safety. So we set out to talk to you. Okay, how would you guys feel with having armed security guards on campus? I fully support that, 100%. Um, personally, that's not something that I would feel comfortable with. I'm all for it. I think it's a really good security measure. Uh, we have police officers at the game, so why can't we have police officers or like armed security on campus? Um, I think it's a good idea, just as long as they're like trained and know what they're doing. I wouldn't feel any safer if we had armed security. Um, I just feel like it'd be fighting fire with fire. What steps do you think could be taken to regulate the types of guns that are sold without violating the Second Amendment? Like motor vehicles, um, guns should just start being licensed and have people just take in their guns to a certain place, like the DMV for guns, and just so they can keep track of all of them. The Second Amendment is a very a fundamental part of who we are as a country. I don't think it's necessary to like have a gun that like would destroy an animal if you're saying you need it for like hunting. No one needs an AR-15. They could also make automatic guns like AR-15s uh, illegal. I feel like that we just need to really take care of our mentally ill people that shouldn't have the possession of firearms. There should be a lot more background checks. I don't think uh, civilians should be having access to like military grade weapons. What would make you feel safer here on campus? I don't know, maybe just having more drill practices. Maybe a bit more security on like entrances and stuff like that. For lockdowns, we need to like reinforce those. If security guards were armed and knew how to handle situations like this. Maybe make a rule on who can buy them and at what age. We need to focus on keeping guns out of the wrong people's hands. We continue to pray for the Parkland community and for peace in our schools. One of your favorite news segments is back. It's Blindfolded Pictionary with Mr. Davenport and Mr. O'Day. This is an orange slopey line. It looks like a car. It's a duck. It's a platypus. It's a half elf druid. It's a dracodile. It's a crocodile. Yeah, crocodile. It's a football helmet. Peyton Manning. Yeah! <laughs> right? Here's another crowd favorite, the Whisper Challenge this week with Mr. Smith. I hit a platypus <laughs> on my way to work today. Do you? Do you? Like? Like? Turtles! Banana? 
Do you? Do I like this game? No. Do I like juniors? No. <laughs> what is what is your, your sweet tea sweet tea recipe. recipe do you really want me to tell you yes it's got water that's it have you ever wondered how the school decides on a snow day it's more technical than you think check it out Thanks for watching. Catch you next time on RJTV.